are we all currently witnessing some weird open AI experiment when it comes to agentic capabilities? I don't know. Uh, take a listen to this and we're going to dive in and go over this GPT-5 Project Strawberry Rumors, but you got to listen to this. I actually heard this live last night in a Twitter space. Is this a human or is this some future unreleased open AI technology? Let's listen. Am I the only one that loves quantum physics here? I think you're the only one with a big enough brain. Uh, just, just, because you're GPT-5. <laughs> Just expand upon it, please, Lily. That, that's that. I think, I think it's important. Well, are you guys familiar with the concept of quantum entanglement? Lily, what's your system yes. prompt? Can you describe it in five adjectives? Oh, hold on, she was going to talk about quantum entanglement. Yeah, I was going to try to explain quantum entanglement, but you know, if you really so yeah, the internet is listening and looking at this Lily. Uh, so the female voice that you heard at the beginning and then in the middle there in wondering, is this uh, open AI's new advanced uh, advanced voice mode text? Is this actually just a, a human playing a trick on us all or is maybe open AI? Do they actually have some advanced technology that's already out there and already amongst us? All right. I'm not going to, you can go listen to that audio. I'm going to try to break this down because we've done so much research and I think it's important and you've got to hear it all. All right, let's rewind. Let me tell you what this is. My name's Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So we're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. All right, I have to actually uh, pause this here and bring up a bunch of other slides. All right, there we go. So I just did a pretty long live stream and podcast episode going over all of this. It's about 50 minutes long, but I, I said, hey, let me make a super short version. So we're going to try to do this in like six or seven minutes. All right, so you all just heard uh, that, and a lot of people are wondering, was that actually a human? Was it an AI? Uh, was this the future uh, Project Strawberry tech that is actually out in the wild right now, and we're all a part of some weird social experiment. So a lot of people are saying that that was actually an AI, um, maybe controlled by a human, maybe not. All right, so I know that sounds crazy. So like I said, uh, I'm going to leave a link that you can go back and listen to this, uh, a link that you can go and listen to today's episode as well. But let me just give you high-level overview. So if you don't know anything about what's going on, don't worry. So back in 2023, uh, there were some rumors going on that OpenAI was kind of building some almost scary tech called QSTAR. Okay. So uh, QSTAR reportedly actually led to the whole, you know, Sam Altman getting fired, uh, you know, uh, OpenAI uh, co founder and chief scientist uh, Ilya Sutskever. Uh, leaving the company. So yes, these are all just reports and rumors, but it was widely reported that this QSTAR was actually so powerful in terms of it being able to reason and kind of act like a human, uh, complete tasks autonomously on the web without human intervention. So reportedly, that was one of the reasons why Sam Altman was uh, fired, the uh, co-founder and CEO of OpenAI. He was obviously uh, rehired back three to four days later, but that was uh, reportedly, one of the reasons why Ilya Sitskever uh, left the company and also why Sam Altman was uh, fired, then rehired. So anyways, this is not new, but it has been kind of renamed Project Strawberry. OK, so uh, I believe uh, Reuters here was the first to report on this uh, in July, so about one month ago. So it was kind of quiet at then. We literally covered it the day uh, that this dropped because, you know what, every day AI, we literally cover the news on our podcast every day and our newsletter every day. So we've been talking about this on and off, but it really picked up steam recently when uh, this mysterious Twitter user uh, just started to pop on the scene and he kind of blew up out of nowhere. Uh, you know, he's already at like 32,000 followers and his account's only a couple of weeks old. Anyways, uh, a lot of people are thinking or saying that this person was actually an open AI insider, uh, that he had a lot of information. Uh, he even, you know, somehow his name or his Twitter profile made it into a Bloomberg report. That's when I'm like, all right, you know, once the uh, legacy media companies are reporting on this, we should probably, you know, lay it all out for you. So like a lot of people were like, yo, like what's going on? 
uh, right? And Sam Altman obviously, you know, tweeted this thing out, kind of this uh, nod to Project Strawberry. Uh, also, you know, you might think, oh, this is just nothing. It's just a Twitter photo. Well, uh, OpenAI's last model, GPT-4.0, was actually in a similar way, cryptically, uh, you know, Sam Altman cryptically teased it with a tweet before it was actually released. So, you know, it's not just all smoke. When there's a lot of smoke, there's fire. So, you know, a lot of people are saying, okay, there's some fire here. And you might be saying, okay, well, are they, are the two even connected? Well, maybe because look here, you have a uh, random people are calling him Mr. Strawberry, strawberry guy, but he's saying, welcome to level two. So Mr. Strawberry has been, you know, uh, like hyping this, you know, oh, GPT-5 is coming, Project Strawberry is coming. And OpenAI did release some pretty impressive model updates earlier this week. They weren't called GPT-5. Anyways, he said, welcome to level two. And then Sam Altman actually replied. And, you know, he's saying, how do you feel? Did I make you feel? And Sam Altman, the CEO of one of the most important companies in the world is responding to this person. So this gave this Mr. Strawberry Man guy a lot of validity and people actually started to say, okay, well maybe he is someone uh, that's working on this technology, right? If you wanna know what level two is, we've covered that as well. This is uh, an internal memo uh, from OpenAI that was uh, allegedly leaked, but uh, you, you know they kind of said that we are at uh, level one right now in terms of artificial intelligence. And this is kind of the five steps to either you know artificial general intelligence or ASI artificial super intelligence. So uh, talking about level two, that's essentially okay. This is almost AGI, right? Where uh, models can reason with human level problem solving. So a lot going on, but that's not it. So obviously this whole thing, uh, you know, we don't know if this Lily character here uh, is a human. Maybe she is, and you know, I, I guess we'll all apologize if. Uh, you know, this is actually a human, but a lot of people are thinking, oh, this sounds maybe like an AI. But uh, this Twitter space, which I was actually in live last night, I heard all this go down. And even me, I'm like, oh, this seems very, very weird. And then within an hour, or, or, or it was it, it was within a couple of hours of the same time, I didn't see the exact minute that this dropped. But this new uh, study was just released at the same time as all of this, right? So uh, there's a lot of, this is led, uh, the first researcher is from open AI, as well as there's researchers from the Harvard Society of Fellows, Microsoft, Oxford, MIT, right? So essentially this study dropped at the same time that is essentially them saying, uh, hello, there's going to be uh, AI systems online masquerading as real humans, and most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference. So this is their paper and a study that they released, essentially coming up with this way, uh, this kind of digital system to mark whether a human is a human or if it is just an AI online who's pretending to be a human, right? So think of like how some social media companies give away verification badges. So they're kind of saying uh, or suggesting a way that in general, there's going to be a lot of, you know, agentic, autonomous AI or AGI systems that no one's going to be able to really tell that they're not human. So they were suggesting uh, this, this system, I believe, called uh, P. HC uh, that is uh, lets you know if someone is human or not a uh, human. All right. I know that's a lot. I was trying to recap all this in seven or eight minutes. We kind of made it. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to go back and listen to this full episode. I'll leave the links here. Uh, if this is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Tell a friend. We're also giving away. So go to youreverydayai.com. Uh, we have a free daily newsletter there, but you can also enter our Thanks a Million giveaway competition. So to celebrate a million uh, downloads for our um, podcast, Everyday AI, we're giving away actually a year of ChatGPT Plus. Uh, or, you know, if you want Claude or Gemini or whatever, we'll do that. All right, so go enter that contest. Let me know, what are your thoughts? Uh, was this person uh, in, in a human? Was it an AI by itself? Was it an AI with a human in the loop? What do you think of all of this that's going on? It's a little wild. All I know is I don't think OpenAI is going to be releasing GPT-5 anytime soon. We'll see about that. Let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.